Hey guys, I'm Robert from Master Guitar Academy. Today I'm going to show you a cool jazz blues lick. But first, let me show you this baby. It's new guitar day here at the MGA Studios. This is a D'Angelico EXSS model. And it is fantastic. I love it. Look at the beauty. It sounds great. I will be back with a more thorough review of this guitar later. But for now, let me show you this cool lick. We're going to be playing this over a, um, a C7 or C13, a C dominant chord. And there's two ways you can play it. You can either do it as 16th notes, straight 16th notes, or you can do it with this swinging 8th note feel. So if I play it uh, in 16th note mode, it would be something like this. It sounds pretty cool when you play it that way. So if I play it slowly, And if you have more of a swinging eighth note feel, it would be something like this. Pretty cool, right? So we're using some chromaticism and the first note is a pickup note that I'm going from the minor third chromatically up to the fifth. And then I'm switching to G string, B string, E string. And I'm playing a, tri a major triad here, B string, G string. And then so you can hear the chord in there right that keeps repeating here there's a C major triad here and then again whole lick ends on the major third. So pretty cool idea, right? I think I've got this type of thing from listening to Oscar Peterson, which is, in my opinion, the greatest, greatest jazz piano player that I've ever heard. I think he was totally amazing. And he played stuff like this a lot, way better than I could ever do it, of course, but check him out. All right, so let's do it again. If you do 16th notes, you have to be able to use the picking hand, you know, fast enough because it can be a little bit tricky to play this quickly. So let's try it slowly. Something like that, sounds cool. If you can pick faster and play the notes faster, try that, go ahead, it sounds cool. And then with swinging, swinging eighth notes. You hear what I put the accent to. 
There you have it, a cool jazz blues lick. Now do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Just click the button on the screen and check out masterguitaracademy.com. Join the fun, lots of lessons. In fact, all the lessons that I have ever done are available there. All right, I'll see you next time.